Hey there, nice to see you again. In this video, we're gonna review 2021 Design Tools Survey. If you never heard of it, well, psh, Jesus, where have you been living so far? It's a very exciting, popular survey that's going on for a few years now. And basically a lot of designers submit their answer to this a little bit, you know, bigger survey about the tools they use and it's awesome to see what's in trend i mean what people use nowadays what's the best tool and also it's good to discover new tools because you know maybe you haven't heard about some tool before and you know let's not waste too much time for the intro let's dig deep into this survey it's fun okay in front of me i have this survey open it's quite interactive i really love it and i skipped the beginning and let's start with digital whiteboarding interesting category um i think digital whiteboarding is becoming more and more popular because tools are getting more and more popular before it was a little bit clunky but as we can see here miro is definitely winner in this category and then fig jam which is super new tool is definitely on second place and then figma itself is on the third place third place and then everything else uh, for me it's a little bit funny to see that whimsical is a little bit like down there it's a what fifth tool and what did you fifth tool <laughs> Um, and it's actually quite good, but you know, if we go a little bit up, we can see that Whimsical has uh, most stars. So people are most pleased by the experience using it. So, okay, digital whiteboarding, Miro still wins. I personally hate that tool. I don't know, like just aesthetics of the tool, I find so ugly and unappealing. And when some tool is unappealing to me, then I don't know, I don't feel inclined using it but that's just me let's move on well this is the exciting one this is the category so what software do you use for ui design main tool so let's see the list whoop 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 figma got the first place completely slamming everything everything else and this is where i got the title of this video Sketch is that, and that's for sure. Even Adobe XD, that was always pretty much on third place or fourth place, is very close to the usage of Sketch, which I find exciting actually, because for so many years Sketch was, you know, the first contender, you know, this most popular tool, but it seems that they stagnated too much. They didn't expand to all other platforms. Cloud functionality came way too late, way too late, and Figma just uh, took the throne. They saw what designers are missing and they just responded with giving us this beautiful tool. I will not say perfect tool because it's not perfect, but you know, close to perfect tool. This is really exciting. And what also I find exciting is this chart over here over the years. So as you can see, 2017, Sketch was definitely, uh, you know, top contender, most used, everything else was just you know, just uh, afterthought. But then look at this, between 2019 and uh, 20, they just uh, swapped places with Figma. Like Figma went super hard up, adoption rate is insane. This is where they really pushed with features, you know, crazy a lot. Sketch didn't and bloop, now they are an afterthought. Well, maybe, you know, maybe this will I don't know, maybe open eyes to sketch team and, and maybe they will, I don't know, start thinking about users for once. Uh, okay, let's go to prototyping. It was enough bashing of sketch. And um, if we go to the chart again, Figma, you know, just like bombing here. Um, well, bombing in a good way. Uh, okay, bad word, forget about it. Anyway, Figma is definitely, definitely taking over the throne over here. Nothing else is not, it's not even close. Like it's, Figma is definitely winning this by far. But I will do a little prognosis here. In next two to three years, Protopy will be first or second. This is, this is my assumption. I thought about Figma the same, like let's say three, four years ago, that it's gonna surpass every other tool in so many categories, and it happened. So you heard it here first. Protopy will be like super high 
And to be quite honest, I don't know who uses InVision. Like probably just employees of, of InVision. Um, let's go to handoff. So what's a handoff? Maybe a little bit less known um, thing that is a part of everyday process for a designer and developer and you know other stakeholders. Basically, you need to prepare your designs in order for developers to you know take them and make it an app. So if you're not doing that, if you're just you know making your designs and then sending JPEGs, God forbid, I hope you're not sending JPEGs or just like send a link from Figma to them, um, you're not doing a really good job. Handoff is a part of design process, like you need to offer support. Maybe your you know, designing is, is not like every day, just like design, but you need to be there and you know do Q&A, make sure uh, that you do sanity check for yourself as well, because you know it's, it's nice to design stuff in Figma, but then you know when it's in an actual app then you might be like well that sucks that that's not good experience i i don't like it we need to i don't know shorten it or move some ui elements somewhere but anyway not to make this too long uh let's see what people use again figma it's very easy so zeppelin is second which is like mind-blowing for me because you can definitely reduct your costs for your design team, but just like ditching Zeppelin, ditching Envision, ditching everything, and just using Figma, because Figma has really impressive inspect, you know, features for developers, so they can actually see, you know, if you use semantic tags for styles and everything they need to know. So, you know, and it's up to date, you don't have to export anything and maybe be worried, oh my god, um, did I export this or was export actually successful or, you know, st stuff like that. So I'm not surprised to see Figma here, you don't need anything else for handoff if you have Figma and then, you know, you're ready to sit down with developers and make sure they understand what they're implementing. Design systems, next category. This one is interesting because design systems, well, that's a that's a broad topic. I mean, you can manage your design system as a designer in, in some design tool, but then there's other part, like it has to be in code also. So these two things, they need to work well together, be up to date and in sync. And you, you guessed it, Figma, again, first place, just, you know, leaving other tools in dust. Sketch is second, yeah, which totally makes sense because UI tool uh, in I, I, <laughs> UI uh, tools category, Sketch was also second, so this doesn't surprise me. But yeah, when it comes to maintaining design system as a designer, well, Figma is the easiest, uh, most flexible and just the best option you can have right now. And of course, th there are other tools. For example, Abstract works with Sketch. So, like, you know, you need to use these two tools in sync. And why would you do that? Like you have everything in Figma and it's so much simpler, so much. Notion, well, that's weird. I would assume people use it for documentation. Like you don't really design there. So this category maybe needs a little bit more granularity and I hope in future we will see that. When it comes to versioning, well, I think it's still um, not considered all the time in our work because, well, Figma does that for us. But, you know, versioning can mean a lot of things in design world. For example, if I do design system update in Figma, that's like 1.0.3 then it should be in sync with like let's say storybook which is a code version of design system right the most popular tool for that but yeah i don't know this versioning um i'm just gonna go over that because i think it needs a little bit more again granularity and explaining okay interesting user testing do you test uh, your designs with users if you're not mm, well you're very brave because let's face it we don't know everything and our job is, you know, in many cases, just pure science, you know, just numbers. What works best with my users? It's not pushing pixels. It's solving problems and, you know, people understanding your interface and user funnels you create for them. I'm surprised that Zoom is on the top of the throne over here because Zoom is like just a, you know, video 
meeting app. It doesn't have any user testing capabilities, so I would assume that people use it with some other tool, maybe like Notion or just Google Docs, where they put their questions and then they just use Zoom for video calls. Again, same thing with Google Meet. But then Maze user testing, look back, user Zoom, usability hub, user berry, and so on. Well, they are complete solutions. Like you get everything there. You have documentation there, uh, video calls, everything. Like literally everything is here. User testing could be also split into like documenting your research and then using a tool for actually, you know, testing with people. But yeah, anyways. Let's see what happens next year. Next category very connected to the previous one, research recruiting. I'm not gonna go over that. It's I don't, I don't think um, that's important for this video actually. And let's go to, again, research repository. Okay, let's um, just quickly check. Notion is the first, that makes sense. Con Confluence, oh my God. Probably mandated by the company. But yeah, um, Dovetail, I hear good stuff about Dovetail, so I would assume that in next year it's gonna be even more popular. Google Drive, well, you know, putting stuff in Google Docs and videos in some folder makes sense. Notion, it's like Google Drive but on steroids because you can just make it nicer, like the whole database of research. But yeah, nice. And we are near the end, so this is summa summarum of all tools we mentioned. This is Designer's Toolkit for 2021. As you can see, Figma is taking over so many categories that I feel sorry for other apps. And I would say that Figma with Notion is like the killer because you can do whiteboarding in FigJam, everything else in Figma. User testing and research recruiting, I will not cover this in this video because um, this is like a role, like UX researcher, that's a little bit different from a product designer, which I am, and I'm focusing on product design on this channel, so this is something I might talk about a little bit later. Not later in this video, but like later in life. <laughs> and as a designer, you also need to do some light research and some documentation and whatnot somewhere. So Google Docs, Notion, so something, you know, where you can write. And I would say pair Figma with Notion and you have everything. You don't need to invest in any other tool. And let's see what people are raving about. So most people really want to see what Figma brings next year, me included. Talking about Figma, please, they repaired comments but it's uh, like in some beta, so it's rolling slowly, but you know, make comments even better, make design system even better, add a lot of search functionalities, purchase Protopy and make Figma Protopy like hybrid, so you can do everything in Figma. That would be, that would be like the best thing ever. So if anyone in Figma is listening to me, please purchase Protopy and you know, just squash it into Figma and make it the best tool, literally the best tool ever. Nobody would ever come close. Protopy, I'm also very excited. I recently started to use it because version 3 came out and it's it's amazing. Oh my god, like if you haven't tried Protopy so far, please do. Figjam, very exciting. Yes, Framer on the second spot, surprising. Uh, for me, Framer means there train so i'm not sure what they're doing right now because it's it's a little bit different too but yeah anyway i wanted to show you this survey this year every year i am eagerly waiting to see what's up and so far my toolkit is pretty much aligned with all the tools mentioned here they are awesome and you know if you like this video please comment something or press thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe that really means a lot because you know we're trying to build this community together and that's uh, i guess it for now and until next time ciao